This is Katherine Schmer at Chattanooga State Community College, and this is video two for Planes in Space. In this video, we'll discuss how to find the intersection of two planes. First, we need to know that two planes are parallel if and only if their normal vectors are parallel. Two parallel planes um, will never intersect unless they happen to be the exact same plane. Two planes that are not parallel will intersect in a line. So what we will be interested in is finding the equation of the line of intersection. In this example, we want to find a parametrization for the line in which the two planes intersect. So we're given the two planes 5x plus 7y plus 1z equals 1 and negative 2x minus 1y plus 2z equals 10. Since the line of intersection will lie in both planes, it will be perpendicular to both of the normal vectors. So we can take the cross product of the normal vectors to find the direction vector of the line of intersection. Remember that the cross product is always perpendicular to both vectors that you're crossing. So if I cross both normal vectors, I'll get a vector that is perpendicular to both normal vectors, and therefore it lies in both planes. So remember the normal vector is the numbers attached to the x, y, and z. So for the first plane, n equals 5, 7, 1. And for the second plane, n equals negative 2, negative 1, 2. So my direction vector v equals the cross product, so the determinant of matrix ijk 5, 7, 1, that first normal vector, and negative 2, negative 1, 2, the second normal vector. So I find V by taking this cross product. So I get I times 14 plus 1 minus J times 10 plus 2 plus K times negative 5 plus 14. If you need a refresher on how to do cross product, please go back to the cross product video and we go into detail there on how to actually find um, this determinant. So this gives us the vector 15i minus 12j plus 9k. So that is our direction vector v for the line of intersection. To get a point on the line of intersection, we need to find a point in common on both planes. So we're going to set up a system of equations 5x plus 7y plus 1z equals 1, there's our first plane, and negative 2x minus 1y plus 2z equals 10, our second plane. So there's our system of equations, and the easiest way to solve this system, since we just want one point in common, is let one of the variables equal 0. So if I let one of the variables equal zero in both equations, that will give me a system of two equations with two unknowns, and I can solve that easily. So in this case, I'm going to let y equal zero. You could pick any of your three variables to zero out. So if y equals zero, then the first plane becomes 5x plus z equals one and the second equation becomes negative 2x plus 2z equals 10. Now I want to solve this um, however I know how. If you know how to put it into a matrix and row reduce to solve, then you can do that. I'm going to show um, solving by elimination since not everyone in this class has had matrix algebra yet. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 2 so that gives me negative 10x minus 2z equals negative 2. And I'm just going to write the second equation underneath that. 
negative 2x plus 2z equals 10. Now I add those two equations together and that results in negative 12x equals 8. The z's canceled out because negative 2z plus 2z is 0. Now it's easy from here to solve for x. I just divide both sides by negative 12 and I get x equals negative 8 over 12 which reduces or simplifies to negative 2 thirds. Now to solve for z, I'll plug the x equals negative 2 thirds back into either equation. So I'll plug it into the first equation. 5 times negative 2 thirds plus z equals 1 and solve that for z, we get z equals 13 thirds. So that gives us a point uh, on the line of intersection. So a point in common on both planes. So it's in their intersection. So p naught is the point negative 2 thirds, 0, 13 thirds. So there's our point. On the last slide, we found our direction vector. And so we're going to use the direction vector and the point to give the parametrization of the line. Our direction vector was 15i minus 12j plus 9k. And our point was negative 2 thirds, 0, 13 thirds. So the line of intersection is going to be x equals negative 2 thirds plus 15t. Remember the direction vector um, I component is attached to the t for x, y equals negative 12t, and z equals 13 thirds plus 9t. So there's our line of intersection written in parametric form.